Hey there guys, do you want to be a vlogger? Well, to be honest with you guys, I really wanted to be a vlogger when I was young. But I realized that my life is not as exciting as I want it to be because I just play video games every day and then maybe the indie on the side. But on this episode, we will be talking on how you can become a vlogger. But before we do guys, you know what to do? Like, subscribe, and gong that bell. Hey there guys, my name is Nolan and welcome to Freedom Central, the home of all freedom content. On today's episode, we will be talking about how you can become a vlogger and other tips on how you can become a better vlogger. I know you guys are excited because I am as well. So without further ado guys, Freedom Quick Tips. So what is vlogging guys? Well, to put it simple, vlogging is a style in content creation where you film yourself in your daily life. It's one of those styles that lets you take your fans with you in everything that you do. Like popular vloggers like Casey Neistat, Jeffree Star, Markiplier, and others, they have a huge following and a steady fan base. They give their viewers a chance to be with them in everyday lives, which in turn, we feel like we are connected to them. So now that you know what vlogging is like, let's not get ahead of ourselves and start recording our everyday lives. Let's discuss more about vlogging and its benefits. Number one benefit is vlogging gain loyal audiences and build a loyal community. This is true to all vloggers. It's easy to gain a community when you vlog because it's like every day you converse with them and with that you gain trust from your audiences. And hey, every time you put on a video, it feels like you're having a conversation with your fans. Number two is vloggers connect to people from around the world. Well, you know, it's a given. You reach a higher spectrum of people when you put out your videos out there. Number three is vlogging is not hard to produce. Okay, so vlogging is one of the easiest content to produce. You can even capture yourself through your phone. You will need to have at least your face and your audiences must hear your voice. Usually, vloggers talk about anything in their lives. With that being said, now that you know that piece of information, you might be wondering, what are the things that I can talk about in my vlogs? Well, we got you covered. Number one, topics about your personal life. Usually, this is the conventional content on any vlogging channel. You talk about your everyday life, you record what you see, you bring your audiences with you wherever you go and whatever you do. People love this kind of content as it lets them get a sneak peek into someone else's life. Number two is topics about things in general. So general topics are topics that are not personal in nature. These topics are more like product reviews, advice, travel videos, tutorials, and anything that their audiences can be interested in. Number three, and my personal favorite, is telling a story. Telling a story to your audience is actually a good idea. You can talk about a hilarious joke you heard from your friends, or maybe an embarrassing situation where it's kind of funny or silly. Or if you're brave or brazen enough, you can tell a story about your terrifying ghost encounters. Now that we have covered that, let's talk about on how you can appear as a vlogger in front of a camera. Number one is deliver the point. All content creators have ideas on their videos. If you have an idea for a video, stick to it. Be concise, as it will help your audiences appreciate you more. For example, your thumbnail says something about cars. Then the video is all about plants. You should never mislead your audience because it will look bad on you. Number two is pick a spot that is comfortable for you to shoot or record. It will also add a little bit of personality to your videos. It's interesting to your audiences to see where you picked your locations actually. Number three is fix yourself. You need to always be presentable in front of a camera. Yep, always make sure that your face or shirt doesn't have anything on it. People can be savage when they see something peculiar with your person. Number four is light up your set, frame that camera, and also get closer to the mic. These are the basic stuff that you need to always set up. Make sure that there is enough light in your videos. Make sure also to frame properly the video that it sees you clearly and your voice can be heard properly. You wouldn't want to watch a video like this. Number five is get comfortable. Remember the camera shyness video? Yes, you can go back to that to get comfortable in front of the camera. Try imagining you are in a play where people are looking at you. Wait, that made it worse. Imagine you are making a speech to soldiers where the final battle is underway. That always lifts my spirits actually. Number six is upload and get discovered. Don't let your awesomeness just collect dust in your virtual drivers. Upload it on the internet so that people can consume them until the end of time. Let yourselves be immortalized by uploading it on YouTube. You go get that fame that you deserve. And that's the episode of Freedom. What was the most relevant topic to you? Let us know down below. Also, if you have tips on how to become a better vlogger, please leave them down below in the comment section. If you have a friend who wants to be a vlogger but don't know where to start, you can share this video to them so that you can help them out. Before you leave, guys, please smash that like button, subscribe, and gong that bell. My name is Noel, guys, bringing you tips on how to grow your channel. Always remember, Freedom, quick tips. I'll be seeing you guys on the next episode. Goodbye!